Hello everybody, Casual Yugi Stuff here, bringing you another video. Today we're going to be doing something quite um, different and quite uh, innovative. So if you are like me and if you are from the uh, United Kingdom, uh, England, and you have uh, your own uh, trading cards, whether it be Yu-Gi-Oh cards or Pokemon cards, whatever cards indeed it is that you do own, and you've seen all of these YouTube videos where you know, um, let's just be naming some names, old school expert and um, rhyme style, sending their old, you know, collectible cards into this uh, company called PSA right here. And they get these cool slated slabs back with their grades 9, 10, 8. And, you know, they just look really cool. And not only to say the prices of these cards once they're uh, graded and put in such slabs, can skyrocket in price. So, here today I'm going to be uh, letting you know how if you're from the UK you can get your cards graded. Whatever cards they are, you can get them graded. And that is via a um, very, very, very innovative and excellent uh, company out there called VintageTradingCards.co.uk I just read it out for you here, VintageTradingCards.co.uk I will put the link down below in the description. Make sure you check them out. He is an awesome dude, and I have used this service, and am I happy with what I got back? 100,000% I am. As you can see in my uh, previous and first video that I uploaded to my channel, I did a live reaction of my unboxing of my PSA cards, which you can all see here, other than one which I've sold on, unfortunately, for Lava Golem. He's, on, he's moved on to a better place. Anyway, so... Getting back to the video, how can you out there watching this video right now get your cards graded if you're from England? Well, first things first, you've got to choose your cards. Here they are, for example. We're going to use the example of Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Dark Magician, and just some few other cards. It doesn't really matter which ones. So, what you must do is first of all, choose the cards which are in their best condition in your eyes. Obviously, your cards are going to be in better condition because they are your cards and they are very valuable to you, but obviously you don't want to be sending in a card with a massive crease. As you can see, this blue eyes doesn't have a crease. This one does have a massive crease. This one doesn't. But obviously this one isn't in good condition too. You can see the dents that it has on the back and on the front. So you want to choose the most mint condition cards that you have to your eyes. For example, this Ryu Senshi. This Ryu Senshi is a first edition card. That is also important. You've got to look out for the edition and the print and also the pack that it came from. Because if it came from a later or... Um, old set then obviously these cards are going to be worth more because they're more difficult to find nowadays so go through your binders go through your boxes go through your collections and have a look for these old cards you can determine which pack the card came from from the little code down here just above the card text and, and attack and defense values so right moving on how do you actually send your cards out there and how do you prepare them so I'm going to show you how you, how you prepare them so let's say you want to send off this Ryushinsi and this Blue Eyes White Dragon this Ryu Shinshi is already in the step one of what we need to do. So step one is grab your card. Grabbing your card is easy and just make sure it's in good condition and you have clean hands when you're doing so. Then you grab your first sleeve. This is a penny sleeve which you can buy anywhere on eBay for around um, three pounds for a, a little box of 50. So what you wanna do is carefully place your card into this penny sleeve so it's nice and tight like that. It will move around but obviously that's no issue. So, checking the back, that is absolutely fine. Then, that's where these come into play. These sort of sticky notes, which are long and very handy. So, I like to colour code my cards. Because this is a normal monster card, I like to go for the yellow sticky note, because it resembles the colour of the card. So, you stick it on the back of the card, obviously not on the actual card, but on the sleeve. You stick it down, you push down. So, that's step two, putting the sticky note on the card. Technically, step three. Then, you grab your top loader, and after you've done step one, two, and three, you grab your top loader and you put the card inside the open slit of the top loader, just like this. Making sure that the back doesn't get caught on the top loader itself. So you might have to do a bit of a wiggly and jiggly to get it in. So that's your card inside, just like this. The function of this sticky note is so that the card can come out, I'll show you, without having to get your fingers in there and actually damaging the card further. Because when you do send your cards into PSA, you want to make it as easy as possible for these uh, graders to get your cards out and to examine them under the fine lights that they have in their, in their factory. So I'll show you how easy it is to take out this Blue Eyes White Dragon, just by pulling on, on, the, on the yellow sticky note. Again, just be careful when you put it back in, 
that the yellow tip doesn't get caught and goes nice and tightly inside, tightly but securely. So that is exactly how you do it. And then if you want your card to look like this, this is a PSA 10 example, you have your pile of cards just like this waiting for you. So let's do another example. So we have Ryu Senshi, he's a fusion monster. So we're gonna to wanna to grab a purple sticky note because it resembles the color of the card, like I said before. You put Ryu Senshi inside with his nice sticky note on the back. Then you grab your top loader. Again, these are readily available on eBay and many other websites. Again, turn them over, make sure that goes underneath and you just push them in as simple as that. So once you've stacked a good five, 10, however many cards you want to send in, that's when contacting vintagetradingcards.co.uk comes in. Vintage Trading Cards is run by um, um, a man called Alex and his service is absolutely magnificent. What you do is you make a list of all the cards that you've sent. For example, you write the title, the card's name, the card's number, which is down in the bottom corner. This is different for Pokemon, but again, if you just write everything about the card, so if it's a first edition card, the uh, code it's got its name, um, it's it's set which manufacturer, obviously Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game. Then you give PSA the relevant information for them to produce and translate your card into something that looks like this, which says the year that this card was released in the 2005 Rise of Destiny Special Edition, as it says here, the name of the card and also the the brand of the card of the card game. Then in here, that is the number of the, of the card that's there. And you can see it's a gem mint. That's when you get your grade back. Obviously, your grade is um, dependent on how good condition your cards are. So this, for example, this blue eyes has some little dents. We'll probably only get like a PSA 2 or 3. I don't hold me for my word for that. But this Rio Senshi does seem to be in better condition. So anything between an 8, 9 or a 10 would be uh, looking for this card. Just remember, centering is important. Not only scratches and dents but how overall aesthetically pleasing your card looks is all important when grading your cards to PSA. So guys, I hope this video has been nice and short and given you a brief explanation on how to get your cards graded if you're from the UK or, um, or um, Scotland and Wales and Ireland. If you're from here, you just send your cards to um, Vintage Trading Cards. There is a email address on the website. You'll find every step-by-step -step method on how to actually grade your cards on there. But if you, like me, want to get a large range of awesome PSA slabs, just like this, with awesome grades, then definitely, definitely consider getting your cards graded via vintagetradingcards.co.uk. Guys, this has been Casual UV Stuff, doing more of an informative video this time, and just trying to help you guys get your cards graded, so you can get the satisfaction of unboxing a Blue Eyes White Dragon or Dark Magician in PSA graded 10. Guys. Link to um, Vintage Trading Cards will be down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate your time.